Hello everyone and welcome to my pin collection video, how I'm going to display them, talking to you about some of my favourites, how my obsession around pins started and just a little bit of a chit chatty video really. I know a lot of you like to see how I organise and display my pins and what ones I currently have. So it has developed over the years and my love for pins started a long time ago. I actually was subscribed to a pin club via... I think Etsy or something like that. It didn't end up continuing, but I have loads of miscellaneous pins. So it started out as like a small collection like this, just little ones that had little nods to things. And I loved them, they brought me a lot of joy. I liked the rush of opening the pin club box and discovering what pin it was. It was a complete surprise. So that sort of the root of where it started this this love of pins in general then i started going to the disney parks and i am a huge disney fan and disney pins are a whole world of well we've got pin trading where you can actually trade pins with cast members and other people you've got pin specific shops pin events limited edition pins pin 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 they're a great souvenir because obviously i love collecting disney mugs and Minnie mouse ears and spirit jerseys which are all quite expensive and bulky items whereas pins are smaller sometimes more affordable i will say that but you know you can get them for obviously five six seven pounds right up to like 15 20 pounds some of them are pricey especially the disney ones but i really love finding ones that have re resemblance to a particular holiday the hotel we stayed at a restaurant a show we saw a character we met whatever I love finding a pin and associating it to that and the rush of finding the pin you love or one you've had your eye on is just so exciting to me and I do love pin trading which is essentially a free thing that Disney do any cast members that have pins on a lanyard or a pin board behind the till in a shop or in a hotel lobby etc you can ask to trade and you can trade any official Disney pin with another official Disney pin. So I've actually found some really great special ones from pin trading. I haven't done it on my most recent trips, but I'm definitely gonna do it in December. So yeah, what started as this like small board moved over to these bigger boards. Now I got these originally from, I think it was Wilco, and they do actually have these peel backs. So I was gonna put them on the wall, like peel that off, stick it on the wall. And I have different boards for generic Disney, Disney parks, and then generic pins I own, and then places and like, events so like theatre shows and what else is on there you'll see as I go through but yeah I've clearly outgrown the boards and obviously I could just get more of these square boards but I just wasn't loving them and look these pins mean a lot to me and as you can see there's loads of them and they're all on different cards and backing cards still I have some from cruises um loads and loads and loads I love them so much my mum actually has an audio visual presentation business where she sells projectors whiteboard screens everything basically and I asked her if she could source any decent pin boards for me and she had a supplier and she now sells these and they are absolutely perfect so this is a weird one because it's obviously not an ad for my mum's business I bought them myself with my own money and <laughs> paid her for them uh so I'm gonna leave a link uh but full disclosure yeah they they are my mum's business so this is what they look like I got six of them they came in a pack of three so I just got two packs and they're just these thin boards they're not cork like this one they are just sort of like a i don't know what they are like a, a fabric board and they have little uh peel back sticker things again so they can just go straight on the wall i did actually get a sample and tested it and the pins do go through but they don't show the other thing i want to do today is go through and decide which ones i maybe want to let go of that i can potentially trade with that could be good for our christmas trip so yes these are the boards I want to put them on the wall here in our spare room. This is where a lot of my Disney uh, decor is. I have got Disney ears and lounge fly bags and my plushes on display in this room. So it has become a bit of a Disney room. So at the moment, if I just flip the camera, you can see up here I have a ton of photos just on a, you know, light up display. I need to take that down. That's um, going to go. So it might leave a few marks from the command hooks that have been keeping it up but it's time to say goodbye put the pins on the walls and organize and show you 
when I'm finished. So let's go. So first things first, we have to take the lights down. So I think I'll take the photos down first and then the lights because I can still do things with these photos. I was thinking that they might have sun damage, but I don't think the sun gets in that far to this wall. I'm not sure. Either way, I've just got to hope that it doesn't and maybe I'll try and keep the curtains shut more. I am so excited about this little mini project and finding a way to display pins. I don't think enough people really like fully talk about it. It's one of those things that we all seem to buy them and then how do you show them? I do actually keep the actual backs to the pins in one of these little um, boxes and I have all the backing cards as well. So if I ever did want to sell a pin, I could easily do that. Uh, my friend Gary keeps all of his on the backs, on the cards and has them in a big box. Obviously that's a really good way to do it as well. But for me, I like being able to look at them all. So this brings me joy. I like being able to say, Benji bought me that, that meant that, this is that, la di da di da. I have some from my trip to New York that I got in the Disney store. Like I got a pack. So they're like Disney crossover with a trip. Does that make sense? But yeah, oh my gosh, I love them so much. So I can't wait for them to go on the wall. A lot of them need to come off their cards. I've got lots of new ones like this. That I need to take off the cards, put the backs in the box and then give them home. The goal is that if I keep buying pins, then I can just keep buying more boards and then keep going until it gets a little bit silly. But I'm thinking because of the shape of them, obviously we can display them in such a way. I don't know how I want to do this yet. It'll look quite good, right? I think it will anyway. We'll see. I hope so, because I'm going with it now. <laughs> I'm just trying to decide the layout. It's hard to make like a, a random pattern because that's just a straight line, isn't it? So it's like, well, you move that up there to then, but then that's a... A weird circle. Unless we don't use all of them for now. Then we go, but then that's just a, that's just a flat line again. It'll just be quite close to the radiator. Yeah, that's fine. So we need to find the middle point for this one then. Are you excited? Yeah, yeah, ecstatic. I can hardly contain my excitement. I'm just glad that you don't mind. I'm going to shove a load of pins on our wall. Like, I've already written off this room as not being anything to do with me, so... Yeah, we'll have a spare room. We'll keep all of our spare stuff in there. I don't have stuff. <laughs> you have lots of stuff. I do. Hey, this collection, a lot of them you bought me. I did. This is, well, That was the first pen I ever bought you, wasn't it? You'll be in my heart. Was it the first one? And it's... I'll show you them. But they don't make it anywhere. This one. And it's musical. And it used to sing You'll Be In My Heart. I've got a pin that's Disneyland Shanghai opening that I traded for just because I thought it was like quite pretty and special. But I've obviously not been to Shanghai. So that one feels a bit naughty that I've got that. Honestly, I feel like you should have got Gary to come round. Like here's you two together doing this would be... Gary would have loved to have done this with me, yes. A little glass of wine each. I think maybe Disneyland Paris. But actually, I don't know if I have enough of Disneyland Paris. No, because you've got... I mean, these are like pin, these are pin trade ones, aren't you? So that you take them off. Do you know what I mean? Well, some of them I can trade, yeah, if I don't want them anymore. So this is what we're working with. I have places, like locations we've been. Uh, I have theatre shows down the bottom there. Then I have Disney and I'm not sure which one I want centre. I've got miscellaneous ones and then all these are still on card still obviously down the middle. I think something like theatre could be an easy one to start with because there's not that many. Maybe something like Harry Potter because I only have a few of those. Like I've got some Slytherin pins and then I've started collecting some others from when I went to the studios tour. And I got these the other day. See, that is one that came in like a set. I would happily trade that so she can go. So the boards are on the wall. They look good. I'm really happy with them. And they feel really nice. They feel pretty sturdy. Like oh, they're not moving. Whatever the uh, sticky back thing is, is really strong. Um, and I love that I didn't have to like try and you know, pin them or put nails in the wall. So yeah, they're nice, they're really nice. So I'm happy. Like the color, they do loads of different colors, but I went for this one. I think it's called stone or sand. Now I have to decide where to go. I think I'm just gonna have to tackle Walt Disney World first. Go straight in the middle with Walt Disney World because I mean, I wanna say Walt Disney World's my favorite out of the three I've been to in terms of Paris and California. I think Disneyland, California and Paris might have their own half and half. I'm not quite sure. <laughs> 
and then maybe other Disney and then Harry Potter places I do I think we might need the other one we've done five we do have another one but yeah I'm not sure how it's gonna go I know that my biggest pin is this one which is the Dapper Dan's I bought this on Shop Disney a few months ago and it's pretty large I don't like the big ones but I made an exception for the Dapper Dan's because I love them and I saw them on my last trip and I haven't found a smaller nice Dapper Dan's pin so I think we'll go for this one first and just go straight in the middle with them maybe maybe i should use the spare one and lay them all out on the spare first and then duplicate it on the wall because i might end up moving them yeah that's a good idea so i've started laying out disneyland paris i don't have an awful lot for disneyland paris and i don't have a hotel pin for newport bay because they didn't have any and i don't even know if they sell these anymore with the little keys on the bottom so that's annoying if they stop doing that but i think Disneyland Paris I don't have a lot for so it might be that I do Disneyland as well it's hard because sometimes I have like here I've got a big thunder one but then that one's big thunder too and that could be either Walt Disney World or Paris I mean that one I got in Walt Disney World so maybe I keep that for there maybe that goes on Disneyland Paris ball because that's the first time I went on big thunder was in Disneyland Paris I really honestly don't know where to truly start but I'm thinking Disneyland Paris and Disneyland California. I don't have that many from there. This one is gorgeous. I actually got this on Etsy from Peach and Mimi. It's the Disneyland Paris castle and it's one of the nicest pins I found that's not Disney. I'm just gonna go for it. The first pin is in. It's coming together. That took me four minutes to just get those ones on. So I went to Walt Disney World in 2018. I bought this one and I traded this one before I bought this one I think and at the time I was just quite happy with two pins but do I really need two 2018 pins so I think I may trade this green goofy one because I don't really need two alrighty I've got my tray of Walt Disney World pins now that I'm gonna go into the middle um, I haven't quite decided as I have quite a lot of rides and then parks and I don't know whether to put the rides so like obviously soaring next to epcot or to put all the rides together and put like hollywood studios epcot uh, specific ones on a different side i feel like i want the rides together because then you can see all the different rides i seem to have quite a lot of balloon pins and i'm really drawn to ones with balloons on i love them so yeah this is what this looks like i'll show you in detail when it's all on the wall but let's put it up So far we have Disneyland's California and Paris and then Walt Disney World but I'm also being more ruthless about which pins I do actually want to keep and which ones I can trade the official like Disney pins you know because on the back they have like the logos and they say pin trading on them like one like this is a no-go like that is just generic I don't know where I got that one like that that's got the logos and the pin trading logo on that is an official Disney pin that I could trade I'm just trying to decide where to go next i think this side is going to be more generic disney so i have a lot of characters that are just sort of miscellaneous like i love olaf i love moana i love um ariel and i have some wedding pins as well now like obviously a nod to us getting married so i've got like quite a few generic disney so i think that's where i'm going to go next um is generic <laughs> finished my pin boards now as you can see there are a lot of gaps so i'm trying to decide whether i want to leave them so that every time i come back from a trip i can fill the gaps or if i want to spread them out a bit but i have been doing this for two hours so i figured that i would just leave it for now but i thought i would sort of show you a little bit of a tour and an overview so if i just tilt the camera up a little bit that's what the top looks like 
and then Disney is down on the bottom here. So let's go one by one. So the first board has got Disneyland California and Disneyland Paris. So you can recognize some of these things. So I've got lots of the lights on, so they're a little bit glary, but 30th and 25th pins. The middle one has got Walt Disney World. So if I start at the top, I've got uh, resort pins. I'm not gonna go through each one, but you can see them all. We've got parks and places, special memories in the middle. And then over on the right, we've got events. So like Hoop Dee Do and Flower and Garden Festival. That was recently, obviously 2022. Down here, I've got ride pins. I definitely wanna get some more rides. And then coming on up for Walt Disney World, I've got so many different ones. This was a recent one, obviously 50th. And this one I added, and I love this one with Goofy with a camera and Donald with a Mickey premium bar and a balloon and the statue and the castle behind. I think that's so nice. And then over here, we have more generic Disney pins. So characters and kind of, yeah, seasonal ones. We've got Christmas and Halloween over here, birthdays. Up the top are the special ones for Benji and I. My Happy Places With You, he bought me that one on our first Walt Disney World trip. And then coming down, just some of the character pins. I love Moana, so I have a few from Moana. Uh, Mirabel, Mickey, obviously. There's loads of different characters down on the edge here. These were given to me by Benj. He had these in his collection from his childhood, 75 years with Mickey. So obviously celebrating the 100 years of the Walt Disney Company next year. So have to get some pins for that but I've got Kingdom Kingdom Hearts I've never actually played the game but I got given this at an event and I don't know I thought it was cute Disney Plus Day and then I've got some dog ones over there that came in a pack that I quite like and then up the top here I've got New York and that leads me nicely onto places so hopefully you can get a good gist for this but basically it goes UK so you can see London and staycations we've done sort of places this is all UK that's Shrek the adventure in London then it goes into countries so I've got a lot of the Caribbean Norway Greece cruising um, we've got UK theme parks we've got Harry Potter so I put Harry Potter down here ended up being a bit bigger than I imagined but takes up all that section still space to add a few more if I want to but I've got a nice selection of Slytherin pins and then a couple of like generic Harry Potter ones down here I've got Orlando New York and LA so that's all of those and then I have all my theatre pins. I don't always get a pin for every show because they don't always sell them. Um, and events, so some in the city I put down there. But yeah, you can see some of the shows I've seen recently. Aladdin is one of my favourites and Frozen. I'm seeing that again next week. I'm so excited. And then over this side on the last board are all my miscellaneous ones. So I have brands, companies I've worked with or for. My friend Adam had a whole collection of pins. Halloween one. I've got lots of bees because B is my nickname. So I've got loads of different B pins. Lots of miscellaneous like characters and my friends make amazing pins. So I like to buy them and support them. My friend Catherine has a business called Catnip and I love hers. These are all hers. Um, this one, this one and Gingy. And then over here are more like quotes, I guess, that I've collected over the years. Um, good vibes, prove them wrong, building an empire, kindness is power. Um, put on your positive pants. I love that one and this one is pajamas for life <laughs> And this is my most recent one. I got that in Brighton It says take care of yourself car karaoke queen if you know, you know And then I've got a couple of book ones too. The book was better and it's lit That's another new one I bought that one at the same time as that one and Benji bought me that Brighton pin So that was one of the most recent pins that one from a football game, but obviously it represents being down in Brighton so yeah, I think that is everything. I am really happy with them. I think they look really nice. There's loads of room to expand and it just looks so much better. And I love having them actually on display. So when people come and stay, they can have a look at them. And yeah, I just think they're so magic. This one is very special. This is the VIP tour I got to do with Disney. Don't think that will ever happen to me ever again. So obviously I kept the backing card on that one. It's the only one. I know that pins aren't for everyone and this is not the most visually appealing like piece of art because it's obviously a little bit messy in here, there and everywhere. 
but it means so much to me. Like here is Mickey's Not So Scary Halloween party that I did and I dressed up as a cheerleader. So I have mini cheerleading and I met Lotso the bear. So you can see like just from those three pins there, I have like a core memory on unlocked just from looking at those pins. So to me, they're just so special and I love them. That's the one I pin traded, by the way. Let me try and show you closer. This is one of these like special ones that you can't buy. I pin traded that, I found it, I was so chuffed. Um, what else do I wanna show you? Oh, this one's fairly new. Got that one and that one recently on my most recent trip. And obviously, like I said, the Dapper Dans. I almost forgot to show you the pins that I popped aside to trade when I go to Walt Disney World. These are the ones that I'm not really interested in keeping anymore. So I have a couple of the keys. I have just like such random ones. I just don't really like the design or you know what they look like. So if you watch our Disney vlogs, I'll show you what I managed to get in return for trading these. So yeah, let me know what you think. Let me know if any of you collect anything. Is this something you would do? How do you display your pins if you have any? And let me know if you like this video. It's been really nice to do something a bit different, but I've been really wanting to show you my updated collection and um, how it's all looking. Clearly I need to go back to California and I need more from Disneyland Paris so I can expand here, but um, mostly I love it all. So thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please hit subscribe if you haven't already and I'll see you again in my next ones. Bye.